Red Bull become the fourth team to release their livery for the 2020 car. The RB16 was released earlier this morning at Silverstone and photos appeared online for the first look of the car. Now this is the 2020 car that will be driven by Max and Alex at Red Bull Racing. And first look is not much change now. We've seen Mercedes, we've seen Ferrari and there's been not much changes in those liveries. Really Haas is the only person that's kind of changed a lot of things about it. The first look at this car is nothing much has changed now. The biggest thing you can see is Aston Martin are still on the car. Now they are on the rear wing. Now of course about a week ago they separated from Red Bull Race and they separated uh, their partnership and also to go and obviously join Racing Point as Lawrence Stroll purchases them, Racing Point, Aston Martin. But they still appear on the car as what looks like to be a sponsor. Obviously, we'll have to see how much that actually affects them. But yeah, they still uh, remain on the car. Uh, not much has changed really towards that. Now, there is um, st uh, sources that are coming out saying that it is a, a darker blue and also as well it's not a matte finish it's more of a glossy so we're kind of going back to the 2014 and 2015 red bull of the the shiny darker gray of course uh, 2017 onwards you had a matte look which was very kind of bold and didn't stand out too much kind of a, a really cool look now we're going back to more of the glossy look to be honest i'm really excited if that is true um normal color schemes after that of course we have the red bull the yellow sun uh, yeah, not much change of that. Of course, Honda is still very prevalent on the car. Now, they are the kind of first look of the car. Now, let's get more into the internals and what people behind the scenes are seeing. Now, Christian Horner, the team principal of Red Bull, called last year and the RB15 a transitional year with Honda. Now, this was the first year with Honda where nobody expected what was going to happen. Of course, it went really, really well. Look at Austria they won the race, incredible in front of the home crowd of Red Bull, in front of the Max crowd, and of course the first win of Honda. About f uh, 13 years since 2006 with Jensen Button. All the Honda representatives were crying and it was a great day for them. So that was a transitional year kind of turned around. It went so well. Of course a few more wins for Max. A good job from Alex as well, really making the headlines, challenging for world championships, challenging for wins they shouldn't even been there with, especially with the Honda McLaren era that happened a few years ago. So as I say, this transitional year wasn't really a transitional year anyways. It went well. That's what Christian says. And of course, this year, this is the one where they want to deliver on championships, both constructor and driver. Mark's going for championships and Alex, well, in my eyes, he is still in the fight of the train places. So needs a car to keep him in the Red Bull fight. Um, they have a shorter wheelbase, which has a high rate, basically just stronger on the car. They should have a stronger chassis this year. Of course, Red Bull always holding on to the stronger chassis. Really more durability going around uh, tracks like Austria and things like that in Brazil, where they can really throw the car in. Of course, that's what they're heading into this year. Max hoping that he can win in Austria, Germany and Brazil. Of course, three tracks which really suit the car, suit, uh, suit the chassis. And of course, where he's won two before. Um, but as I say, not too much changed on the car apart from, of course, the stronger Honda engine or what we've heard about the stronger Honda engine underneath the bull of the bodywork. Two strong drivers in Red Bull Race and, of course, they released their, uh, their helmets and what they're going to be wearing, the race suits. Again, not much changing in terms of that, but you can definitely say they are a stronger lineup. And as I mentioned there, Red Bull Racing had a test at Silverstone Circuit earlier today, um, really, uh, putting on the first pictures um, of the new car. Uh, this is also ahead of the 2020 uh, winter testing, which will happen at Catalonia. And that will really be only the first time where we'll see how fast this Red Bull car is. But at first look, no real new sponsors, no changes, no real changes to the car, only minimal kind of outside livery chains, a bit like what we had with Ferrari um, and there we go, that was Red Bull. Number four, now Renault is the team that are releasing later today, so please stay tuned with me for that. We're about halfway through now for the teams that have released. Um, in terms of teams changing the colours, we're kind of past the teams now who will stay with those colours. You know, Mercedes are silver, Ferrari are, I was going to say green, are red. And Red Bull are this kind of blue and, you know, standard colour, a bit like what you get on the energy drinks. 
But then we're rolling into McLaren and Renault and, and of course, the new teams, Alfa Tori and even Racing Point Aston Martin. They're the teams that will possibly be changing the colours and the schemes and the sponsors and the ones that we have more of a chance to see a kind of more of a quirky uh, livery. But anyways, that is the Red Bull RB16 2020. Red Bull rolled into this season, of course, big challenging contenders, massive pressure, massive hype on Max. Will Alex stay or will he go back to Alpha Tory? Uh, so there we go, guys. That is Red Bull. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Um, out of all these car launches, let us know what you think in the comment section below. And we will we will read some out in the next episode in a livery, uh, kind of what we think of the liveries video, which will be coming out in the next few days. Renault is next. Hope you can join us for that. And until next car launch, guys, we'll see you later.